Richard, he's my kind of people. He hunts, he fishes, and he likes to make liquor and sell it. Moonshiners is an American reality television drama series that many people may be familiar with, as the documentary-style show recently aired its 12th season and seems to be very popular among reality TV audiences. The show follows the lives of several distillers who produce, often illegally, the famous American alcoholic beverage known by many names, most predominantly called moonshine, but also earn nicknames such as Mountain Dew, Hooch, Firewater, White Spirits, and a bunch of other slang terms. The name moonshine comes from the historical process of making the liquor, which is most often performed during the night to avoid attracting the attention of law enforcement and is especially popular in the Appalachian regions of the U.S., where the beverage grew in popularity, particularly during the historical Prohibition period. Even during earlier years, alcohol became banned in several states, giving rise in popularity for the illegal brewing of moonshine. The moonshine distilling industry also gave birth to the inception of the National Association of Stock Car Auto Racing, NASCAR Sport which came about after the prohibition period ended and most moonshine runners were out of a job. To maintain their sharp driving skills, many runners began competing against each other on racing circuits, which led to the creation of the now famous American automotive sport. With so much interest and mystery shrouding the moonshine distilling industry, it's no wonder that the once illegal trade would eventually spawn a dedicated documentary and with many people entertained by stories of the distillers, one famous documentary eventually became the popular series many have come to love. As can be expected, the success of the original Moonshiner series would lead producers to create spin-offs, which included the most recent Moonshiner's Master Distiller series after the creation of Moonshiner's Whiskey Business. Of course, the series also led to the inception of Tickle, which more specifically followed the intriguing life of one of the show's most popular distillers, Stephen Ray Tickle. While the show featured numerous brewers, most of whom hail from the Appalachian regions of South and North Carolina, Virginia, Alabama, and other surrounding states, one distiller stands out from the rest, namely Richard Landry. Many of the distillers featured in the show proudly proclaim to have had a lifelong interest in the moonshine distilling industry. But for Louisiana native Landry, moonshine, the activity, is something he only recently gained an interest in, surprisingly inspired by the first season of Moonshiners. Despite being considered somewhat of a rookie, Richard nonetheless left his mark on the reality TV series, and for good reason as Landry earned the respect of many associates with his award-winning concoctions. You may recognize Landry known for being a pro truck driver from Louisiana, and as a longtime fan of the Moonshiner show, he quickly learned that his talents aren't limited to his original profession, but also extended to the fine craft of moonshining. After watching the first season of Moonshiners aired in 2011, Richard fell in love with the process and art of distilling, eventually trying his hand at it with a self-made still in his backyard. As Landry would put it, moonshining wasn't something he just dived into, as the distilling trade requires careful research and study to perfect. At first, Landry would struggle with his newfound hobby, but after successfully producing his first couple of tasty batches, Richard became engrossed in the craft. Approaching the art of moonshining, as one would the fine culinary arts, Richard, with nothing but a makeshift still, a lust for blending exotic flavors, and a thirst for challenging himself, would spend the next decade feeding his curiosity. As he honed his skills and mastered his newfound interest, Richard began distilling a wide range of richly flavored concoctions, some inspired by his native Louisiana, others simply spiced by a love for out-of-the-ordinary flavors. As the years went by and Landry perfected his craft, his chance to show off his skills to the rest of the world eventually came, and Landry jumped at the opportunity. Although he never thought that something as unbelievable would happen, Richard made the best of it when in 2019, he received an invitation to appear 
in the Moonshiners Master Distiller spin-off series as a competitor, which he accepted. At first, Landry believed he may have bitten off more than he could chew, as he faced a couple of tough competitors, who included a third-generation distiller boasting of a lifelong passion for distilling, and a biochemist who worked at a professional distillery. However, Landry pulled himself together, aiming to focus on nothing other than producing the perfect shine. And thanks to his trademark appreciation for traditional Southern flavors and his sharp sense for understanding the science behind blending, Landry walked away the winner. Richard created a strong cherry bounce flavor with a vivid taste that absolutely blew the judges away, subsequently earning him the title of master distiller. In doing so, word quickly spread about Landry's skills, not only among fans of the show, but also among the cast and producers of Moonshiners. In 2020, Landry earned an invitation to become a member of the cast and made his debut later that year. As part of his appearance, Landry had to select a still hand to join him on the show, prompting him to choose his younger brother, Craig, who became an enthusiastic distiller thanks to Richard who actually introduced him to the trade. Together, the Landry brothers exhibited their passion for exotic flavors, and combined with their exceptional skills at breaking down backwoods moonshine, they became an instant hit with the audience. Inspired by the flavors they grew up with, the Landry brothers created numerous fun flavors that seemed a little outlandish at first, and most certainly unexpected, though nonetheless succeeded at distilling spectacular moonshine. During their debut appearance in Moonshiners, Richard opted to distill a true Louisiana-inspired concoction made from manglier tea leaves of a tree that grows indigenously in his hometown. Landry stated that he grew up with this tea, which is noted for having numerous health benefits, but also boasts a strong, bitter taste. In the next episodes, the Landry brothers experimented with a nostalgic cotton candy-flavored batch and would also use the odd combination of sweet potatoes and cranberries. With their wild flavors accentuated with bold tones, Landry's concoctions would eventually earn him the title of the Spice King. And as he continued to create new vibrant flavors, his outlandish ideas and stills earned him numerous awards. Despite being extremely popular on Moonshiners, both Richard and Craig remained modest and humble, saying that their time on the show is both a true blessing and a dream come true. As the first and still only African-American cast members to appear in this show, the Landry brothers have enriched the hearts of many, inspiring a number of fans and followers to chase their dreams and passions. To this, an ever grateful Richard stated that he quickly realized that the work he does goes beyond just producing liquor, believing that his influence has grown to a wider purpose that shows people that no matter who you are or where you're from, anyone can shine. Since his first appearance in the 11th season of Moonshiners, Landry's concocted one of his most popular tastes, a deep red liquor aptly dubbed the Bloody Mary. And going on to compete in the Moonshiners Master Distiller Tournament of Champions spinoff and make several appearances in the 12th season of the show. You can catch Landry and all your favorite distillers on Discovery Channel. And who knows, maybe you too could develop a taste for distilling some Mule Kick. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.